When Block Tools is selected in the Design ribbon, you'll see several tools in the toolbox. Each of these tools has functions in respect to blocks. When some tools are selected, you'll see a block viewer showing all the blocks currently in your project sketchbook. Other tools may display additional options. Some tools will simply give helpful tips on how to use the tool. Let's examine the blocks palette. When the set block tool or the eyedropper tool is selected, you'll see the blocks currently in your project sketchbook. By default, there are a few blocks already in a new project. These are blocks to get you started. You can always add more blocks and delete these default blocks. You are not limited to these. Notice the three blue tabs in the palette that say blocks, motifs, and stencils. Motifs are appliques that can be set on layer two of your quilt. Stencils are designs that can be set on layer three of your quilt to represent your quilting. You'll spend most of your time on the blocks tab with the set block tool. Notice the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of the palette. You can click the left and right arrows to see all the blocks in the viewer. Or you can click directly on the scroll bar or even drag the little box left and right to see more blocks. You can also change the display to view the blocks larger or smaller. These options allow you to view large, medium, small, or tiny blocks. Still need to see more blocks at a time? Hover your mouse over the edge of the palette and drag the palette larger. I love this view, especially when there are a lot of blocks in the sketchbook. You'll see these buttons anytime you're looking at the block viewer. These are the coloring arrows that let you see all the colors of a block. By default, the block coloring stack on top of each other, so you have a line drawing, grayscale, and colored version. When you save a new block coloring, a new block gets created in the viewer. You can change your settings so that each block has up to 10 colorings. That's where these little buttons come in handy. These three little dots display more options for this palette. You can also access this menu by right clicking in the palette. These are additional options for the palette and the contents of the palette. Two popular options are edit block which will put the selected block on the block work table for editing. And delete coloring. This will let you delete a coloring of the selected block. If you click this left pointing arrow button first, you can delete the entire block at once. Finally, this library button will display the library for that palette. Since we're currently viewing the block tools, clicking this library button will open the block library.